I'm starting now a new project um, which is not related to uh, to Kylo Ren. Uh, I'm sorry, it uh, um, just about the uh, video on YouTube. Uh, then I'm Thomas Roussel from Pixelogic, and uh, in fact, this is the second part of a stream. The first one was the end of the Kylo Ren lightsaber, and the same stream I'm starting this new project, um, which is a new figurine project. And as you can see behind me. I have quite a lot of figurines, Japanese figurines. I'm a big fan of Japanese figurines. Um, I did in the past in the Brush Live a 2B from Nier Automata video game. Uh, I did this 2B character. And um, today I'm starting a new character, and which will be a, uh, an original character. Um, I want to work on something which have a license and things like that for multiple reasons. Then uh, I will go. I have a concept in mind, but I don't have the design yet. Um, then, obviously, during this stream and the next ones, uh, I will refine and, and, and looking at that. In fact, I just found my subject. Uh, <laughs> I mean, few few minutes before the, the stream, or a few hours. Let's say a few hours before the stream. That I don't have the time really to look at uh, at things, uh, at references and and things like that. Um, the style will be a mix of anime, manga, and not really manga. Um, I don't know yet. Perhaps I will refine. And my idea is to work on a ninja uh, character, mainly a girl. I'm sorry, I prefer doing girls. Uh, ninja girls, and with the idea of she's able to use her hairs as weapons, in fact, a way to making her hairs uh, having multiple shapes. I don't know exactly how we'll do that. And in fact, I, I was thinking on that and I just talked quickly to Joseph Drost and told me, ah, Bayonetta, and say, what? <laughs> and in fact, I know the video game Bayonetta. In fact, I own the game, I purchased the game, but I, didn't, I never had the time to spend more than 10 minutes. <laughs> In the game, uh, and he told me that she's using her hair for uh, uh, for multiple things. And shit, of course, I know it's not something super original, but uh, I'll go that way. Then uh, let me remove my perspective. Um, then. Of course, today I will start mainly by building the body, perhaps the face at the same time. I don't know yet exactly uh, uh, how far I will go today, but uh, let's start anyway. Uh, and I think I will go some a character which is mainly quite uh, adult, not really a kid. Um, then I, I go that way, I think. Okay, then uh, let's... Uh, no, I think start with a sphere. Uh, 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 uh. And another reason why I'm doing figurines is because it's been quite some time that I, I didn't uh, I didn't do organic stuff. Uh, not enough for me. And uh, it, it was a, a good opportunity. Oh shit. Um, sorry, I, I just need to load my UI. Um, where are you? Okay, now I have my UI. Uh, Okay, I'm just just try to do something quickly. the dynamesh of course I can refine my shape uh, let me insert uh, I don't have insert brushes like that uh, where are you my basic 
Uh -huh. Oh, so it was in front of me. That let me switch to it's not a line. Like that. Uh, Again, uh, like I said before, I don't know how far I will go from the anime style or not. Then I see. put some music I didn't have the time to put some music <laughs> blocking of music in the background uh, da, 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 da. yeah I, I'll do that later I think And I think I won't do big eyes like that, in fact, because yeah, I, I want to go more on the adult side and I, I need to have smaller eyes. And this is only placeholder, you see, <laughs> this is quite not nice at all. This is not the ID, uh, to be honest, right now. I need to add as well are the ears even if I'm doing something which is not uh, perfect so far but at least uh, why I'm doing that yes I know I did multiples on do To make. In fact, 
the face is more flat and the jaws Sorry, it's not very nice at all for now, but it's not the goal of being nice. I'm just trying to build uh, roughly the shapes. Just doing an opening, not an opening, but um, and as you can see, I'm not working with the um, the perspective. I'm avoiding the perspective as much as possible. because it makes sometimes the model nicer and at one stage I will switch between the perspective and you see my head right now is too large then I'm refining it Always use the move brush uh, just uh, with very large radius or very small radius. Large radius to do uh, uh, big modifications and um, use it with a small radius just to do some fine uh, editing. to be more flat no. always try to look at your model from different point of views because you will see that totally in a different way than what you think it looked like. I know it doesn't make sense what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry again for my English. Trust me, I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> me is obviously the size of all of that because the nose was too big I'm just trying to do a rough, at least some starting point for the um, for the head before moving to uh, the next part, which is the body itself. So 
See, the problem is, in fact, with anime uh, style head, that the face is very, very flat. And my head is not that flat. You see here, it should be uh, not that way. For the neck, I'll look at that later. It's not a big deal for now. <laughs> uh, why do artists always apologize when they are in beginning phase? phase? Uh, I apologize because uh, it could be way better. Uh, it's of course, I'm never happy with what I'm doing. I always say that, oh, I could do better, I could be faster, I could be blah, blah, blah. Uh, yes, I know perhaps this is too much. Uh, I don't know. What I'll do now is, uh, okay, I, I fix the, the head, but not the ears. I mean, the ears are, are too. I don't think that we will see the the ears at the end, but well. Um, I'm always trying to work as well on the silhouette to see if the curve is nice or not. Trying to see if it's, you see like this bottom part here or the eyes are especially there, which is I think too big. Then I have this distance. You see I have this kind of, of shape here which is going up and there that I don't like. I need to reduce. I need to increase the continuity between the nose and cheeks. Cheeks, cheeks, cheeks. And at this stage, you don't need to have a lot of resolution for your dynamesh. It's not really needed.
be something like that. Then what I will need to do is to. Um, okay, I don't want it. Did not want it to do that now, but well, let's let's do it. Um, I want it to uh, do as a separate. Not doing now as a separate shape for the eyes, but uh, well. I think I will do it. Like that I will be able to do the eyelids and ready the eyes by itself. The chat is quite uh, quiet. <laughs> Uh, append. Uh, let me append the sphere. I think it will be large enough, in fact even larger. Let me remove the transparency, let me and um, move brush. I think my eye is not, I uh, need to change the elevation to be more like this and like this. I think I, I made a bit too far and yeah, because connection of the eyes. Mesmerized. I don't know the, what mesmerized means. Mesmerized. Ah, hypnotize. Okay, <laughs> I learned a new word. Thank you. Uh, oh, I forgot one thing. Sorry. This is slightly off topic. Let me give you a link. Sorry, right now this is in French. But I will share that in English. I will do the translation later in English. On my personal website, which is polyschool.com, um, I have on this URL, I will put it in uh, the description on YouTube. Uh, this is in French, but for the Caloran um, um, video I explained before, uh, this is a link. It's not a store because I don't have a store, but it will lead you to Japanese store where you can buy and having a worldwide delivery uh, for all these tools. Then you have all these cutting tools. You have multiple ones. You have the price in Japanese yen and in euros. It will be in uh, in dollars. Uh, I have all these tools, these sending stuff because you can't really find them in the US. Uh, and you see, uh, you can if you want to try this uh, uh, this sending sponges. And it would be anyway interesting for this figurine project because I will use use all of them. Then you can buy this kit, which will include uh, uh, four of them from one twenty to eight uh, hundred. And you can also buy the kit with uh, 10,000 for the grid, which is quite thin. Uh, I didn't show that, but you can also buy these big sponges from Tamiya and then just cut them with your sizers. Uh, of course, I had some uh, extra stuff like that. Some of the links, to be honest, on Amazon, but only Amazon France uh, are sponsors, but um, I mean, uh, may do some money with that, but a little bit. Then uh, all of this uh, masking stuff, etc., etc. Then I, I need to, um, to to put all my stuff in, in this page. But the idea is to provide links for people uh, who want to find this stuff. Sorry, because it was a, a tab of on my browser, and I forgot to, to speak about that in um, my previous. Um, 
uh, session for KLRN lightsaber. Uh, bazooka plasma for 10,000. 10, uh, great for a sanding paper. I, think, I don't even know if jewelry is uh, is good. I mean, it's. I mean, one thousand is already very very thin, uh, and when you start to sand very quickly, I mean, it's not efficient anymore because you have a mix of powders and and then, uh, then ten thousand. I, I can't imagine. For me, it's it's more for polishing. Then uh. anyway, uh, let me continue my project because I'm talking and talking, but not really moving forward. Yeah, having the good tools. I mean, it's it's. Uh, how can I say that? Because I'm afraid. But sorry, I don't know to say that without being. I mean, I want to be polite, but I don't know to say that in other words. But I mean, it's stupid to spend quite some money in a very accurate printer, uh, in resin, doing very accurate model in ZBrush. If you don't have the tools after the printing process to. Um, uh, to clean your model and to prepare for the next step, which is the painting and doing a nice paint. Of course, if you're doing figurines or thing like that, and that's why it's important to spend a little bit of money in this kind of tools because they are, I mean, they are game changers. Then uh, keep that in mind. It's really, uh, really worth it. My point of view, of course. Uh, at one stage, I will need to dynamesh everything. Because I will lack of, I mean, I will have a lack of resolution. Then I will lose some details, but I'm fine with that. Transparency, because I want to sculpt on top of this part, but if I don't have the transparency, my eye will work as a mask. And you know what? Let me just undo my Dynamesh and I will increase slightly the resolution. Uh, anyway, I can go there. Uh, my Dynamesh. Mm, yeah, let's try 168. Oh, shit. Yeah, not enough. Okay, should be better like that. I'm filling the hole inside to avoid having a kind of uh, discontinuity on of surface, on my surface, sorry. Yeah, two two thousand grit is yes. It's more like polishing things, and it's in my opinion way too much. At least for my needs and figuring things. dynamic what I'm trying to do is to give some angle because I don't want to have that to be that vertical but more being inside that what I can do is um, let me select my mask lasso and Selecting this area, and obviously, I don't want to have everything masked in the background. 
even there I don't need to have something mask like this I'm inverting my mask and uh, let me go back to my mask pen just a little bit oops and now I will rotate that perhaps a bit too much and now with my move brush I will revert things Don't forget to use your mask, it's very convenient. Now I need to do the bottom part. Again, let me dynamesh. And you see my eyes now are too far from each other because I modify quite a lot my shape. But let me fix that. Uh, if you want to uh, notify me in the chat, I'm Polyscult. Of course, yes, I'm Thomas from Pixologic. But you see all these streams are more, let's say, personal. I'm doing that on a Sunday from home <laughs> okay what I'll do now is I will duplicate my eye on the other side and I will go in my uh, let me go that way uh, in uh, modify topology you have mirror and world like that you have the other eye and you see you can start seeing both sides which would be uh, better to uh, modify the model like this and now to do the boundary of the eye I'm using the dam so that brush Okay, again, this is some temporary shape.
OK. Uh, no, I'm working without uh, concept art. I'm just working uh, uh, like that. I have roughly an idea in mind, uh, but uh, I will refine it uh, uh, over the time. Uh, again, I'm working on a ninja, 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 I don't know if you say that with the English accent, I'm sorry, uh, girl. Then, uh, now I'm more the stage about building the volume, the body. Right now I'm starting, of course, with the head. But what time is it? Okay, I have a bit of time again. Going to look at all the angles. And something I will do um, when I will be close to, um, I mean, when I will work with the body will be to do a retopology of my model. Because uh, by doing that, it will be way more easier to refine um, the global shape. Because right now I'm working with my move brush, but with a lot of polygons. And it's always easier to work with a retopology. Always, always, uh, you need to be very careful when you have thin areas and using the clay type brushes um, because it will just try to grab what is behind the model and uh, creating this kind of weird holes. Now I'll be afraid because I will switch to perspective, you see, with and without perspective. And what when I'm doing that, you see that my shape of my eyes, now I really see more mistakes like this. It's very, uh, yeah, not good at all. Uh, first, let me save my model. Uh, okay, let me save, save, save. You see, it's, for me, it's, let's say, fine. Uh, roughly fine for the side, roughly fine for the front, but not like that, not at all. Uh, 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 because the side here is um, 
too much you see it's going directly like that on on the side while the face so this area here should be more on the front uh, like that then to fix this what i will do i will do what i said just before let me just duplicate my model then i will use the remesher in geometry the remesher and let's see remesh with the current uh, values and see what it will look like and let me um, okay then the topology for me is fine for what I want to do now not enough for the eyes but uh, I don't care you see it's just going like that here and it should go like this and then like this then I control D I divide multiple times and now uh, let's say once more okay and now I will project this model to this one then go in project and project all wait for a few seconds yeah no check bones <laughs> exactly <laughs> okay then I have this model and now what is great is you see I can go up and down to refine it that's why I really love working with subdivision surfaces um, I can hide that and now I will be able to oh let me what I'll do as well would be to protect the eyes This is what I try to say, and you see, even after all of these years, I know that the anime style, let's say, uh, faces are very flat, but I'm always afraid of doing flat things. And it's even worse because my um, the forehead also was not flat enough, which was making the uh, the feeling of having this. Uh, I don't know to express that in English, but uh, I have this line going too much from on the back. I hope you are following what I'm trying to explain. <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, the neck, I think, is too much on the, in the back. You see a lot of very small, small touches, let's say, on the model.
And I'm sorry, I'm not talking a lot. Obviously, because it's not my language, which makes things more difficult for me. But uh, so because, yes, I, I'm, I'm trying really to focus on, on what I'm doing. And I'm sure that when I will see my model tomorrow morning, I'll say, ah, my God. <laughs> and I will go back to fix quite a lot of things. I'm pretty sure of that. I think we are all like that. And you see the benefit of this retopology, really like that. I have very few polygons to modify. Come on, ZBrush. back Can you tell me if the stream quality is fine or not? Because I see quite some drop frames. Dropped frames. Frame drops. Drop. Okay, thank you. Hi, Mishka 3D. Let me smooth that a little bit. Let me put back the eyes, which now are a little bit too big. Let me enable the symmetry, move. Uh, I need to just flatten the foundation of the jaws because I, I want to have this kind of, of line like this um, just here but uh, don't like this part. In fact I want to have a better continuity
that's why looking at the light is very important I mean the light more the, the way that the light is uh, interacting with your model to see what's going on Okay, I think I'll stop here for now because I know that when I will look at this model tomorrow, say <coughs> again, like I said a few minutes ago, um, I know that then uh, I want to have a fresh look at it. If you have some opinion or thing like that, just let me know. I'm fine with that. What I will do now will be just to add some hairs. The idea is not to do what will be the final hairs, but uh, having a different shape on top of the head. Um, uh, yes, I'm swimming in both French and English. The problem is when I'm swimming in French um, on Pixologic, uh, on, on the Bosch Live, the problem I have is, uh, of course, a lot of people, uh, English people are coming and uh, asking questions, of course, in English. And I'm trying to reply to these questions uh, as much as I can. And at the end, it become a kind of mix between French and English. And of course, French people complain because it's in English and not in French. And for me, I need to process sometimes to repeat questions in both languages. It's not very easy. Then I may do more stream in French, uh, shorter one, because I have a request about that. Um, um, but yeah, it's it's quite complicated, and I have more people watching me when it's in English than in French. <laughs> uh, it's not to watch me by itself, but the impact is uh, of course better. Um, and no, I don't have a concept or sketch. It just everything in my head for now. Uh, I quickly quickly look. I really don't like the face. I'm not happy with that. Now it's too much on front. Sorry, I, I'm thinking at the same time. Uh, no, I just walking just like that. Uh, that's why it could be better, <laughs> obviously. Anyway, uh, for the hairs, uh, I will do something very simple, just for now. Uh, I will append, uh, do, 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 append a sphere, which I just modify very quickly. Sorry, it's not at all what would be the final hairs of the character. With a symmetry, it will be better. Nice, Bob. <laughs> I won't do the hairs at all like that, not at all. 
I will use brushes to do that. I have brush I did myself. to have something on top of the head. Uh, I would just dynamesh that quickly. I'm just smoothing everything. because the hairs will be a big part of what I have in mind because she will be able to, will be able to manipulate her hairs uh, to build some shapes like a big fist <laughs> to fight then definitely not that at all but the idea is to give me some <laughs> it's very old style <laughs> hmm. anyway Let me do a kind of clay polish. No, not nice. And now some damn standard brush. Don't do that at home, <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> Okay, anyway, uh, yeah, Bayonetta, it's, uh, Joseph just told me that, I wasn't aware, but uh, anyway, uh, and the worst is I have the game, I purchased the game on Steam, they, they, uh, they release it, but I just launched the game once, and I really love Bayonetta's style, the character, um, in fact, I really love what... Uh, Platinum Games is doing, and you may know that with my love for 2B from Nia Automata, from one of my ZBrush Life projects. Anyway, uh, not something original, very original, but well, anyway. Okay, now let's say I have a kind of ugly head, uh, like that, let me save. Uh, yes, uh, 2D and 2 Dano. Uh, I'm using uh, a pen tablet. I'm using a Cintiq 22 HD from Wacom. Okay. Then now, uh, what I will do is I will select. Oops, no. I will select a Z sphere and I will start with the body. You have multiple solutions to build a body and I'm always starting, I'm very old school in terms of ZBrush, uh, I'm always using these spheres. Obviously you have a lot of uh, different ways uh, to build a, a character, a body, uh, that, but I really like using these spheres which are a kind of structure system. Uh, which you are able to press a key and convert to just a shape that you are able to sculpt. Um, 
and uh, yeah, I really love uh, working with that. Even if you have other solution, I'm thinking about some streamers uh, like Channelson, who is working more with um, parts, which is a great way. I, I need to work on that because it's it's my mistake. Uh, I'm not really. Uh, I need to go outside of my comfort zone. this and since I'm doing uh, a body which will be um, uh, more adult uh, I would have very nice large hips Then I can add as well something like that. I do very natural pose, not a T pose, classic T pose, very straight like that. Now a really regular um, T H E C C. I don't know what it means. Good iron. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like this uh, very classic T pose. Of course, it really depends of what you want to do, but. Uh, Sometimes it's too strict. See something like that, then I, I will uh, now change the proportions, and of course, I will change all of that as well when I will skirt. I really want to have long legs. I really want to play with the proportions. You see, like this. Ah, thick curvy. Okay. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. And now I want to generate my topology. Then I can go with Dynamesh like this. And yes, I will go with Dynamesh like this. Because uh, if you go in uh, Adaptive Skin, now you have the preview mode which is in Dynamesh. Then you can remove the preview and switching the resolution of the Dynamesh. Uh, to be zero and then when you do preview you have regular uh, polygons uh, like it was before you can even slower the uh, slower ooh, lower the density of your model and why not converting now to a poly mesh 3d meaning that you have less polygons if you want to change like this Now 
Less polygons means more control. Then again, very, very few polygons. And um, just trying to be uh, uh, not accurate again, but. Um, starting to build my shape slowly but surely I don't know if you say that because in French we have such expression and when you are okay with that now what I will do in sorry geometry I will dynamesh everything 128 which is too much then I will go a little bit slower on let's say get 88. And now because I'm in Dynamesh, I will have of course uh, all the sculpting tools ready to be used. I'm just smoothing quickly just to remove this kind of very angular uh, aspect of my low polygon that I had before and like the face now it will be very um, uh, very rough in terms of of shape sorry I'm just uh, adding the hips This is more um, landmarks for me, and again, I'm not trying to do something which would be uh, uh, accurate. You have a lot of people who are way better than me in anatomy. Oh, um, for your information, I just even if I'm not looking <laughs> at it, uh, I have this ecorche next to me. Uh, but I have other ecorches uh, and other anatomy tool stuff. Let me just rotate the microphone. You see, next to me I have uh, quite some figurines and uh, oops, my webcam is falling. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so over the time uh, I'm starting to have more and more uh, uh, references. So the problem is these fields in some time you have a quite of distance uh, on some areas and that's the, I don't know the name in English. Oh, uh, spectral uh, connection is way too 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 high. Need to move it down.
Uh, yeah, Body Kun and Body Chan figurines are great. Uh, sorry, uh, this kind of stuff. You see, uh, you see, I have quite some stuff to be honest. Uh, it's very small, but if you want to look at a pose, it's great because it take, it's you can have a lot of different poses and it's uh it's it's really great and it has been sculpted with the brush of course <laughs> and uh still about references let me switch to the other uh, uh i mean wider view you have this kind of books uh that you can find i don't know anymore if they are published or not which is uh the french one but in english are uh, the how to draw manga um and it's not only about manga but uh, uh, like this one, the uh, human body. Uh, you have a lot of things which are, um, yes, a little bit about manga style, but not that much. And it's very interesting, a lot of illustration about poses, and you have something like uh, 10 volumes for that. Um, and it's great. After, these are, uh, oops, not this one. this one first you have the very famous anatomy for sculptors uh, if you're looking for anatomy this is uh, a very very good book and uh, the illustration inside are very clear uh, you have a, a topology over uh, uh, some part of the model sorry for the new stuff online uh, it's it's a very very good book a little bit expensive but worth uh, every dollars and after yes for figurines and uh, anime style for the brush it's in Japanese but you have the Sakaki Kaoru uh, books which is very very good and in fact Sakaki-san was streaming before me this morning my time and uh, today's Japanese time and uh, yes yeah, very very good book uh, a lot of information it's very visual even if you don't speak Japanese uh, it's very informative and uh, you know that you can use a Google translation application on your cell phone, taking a photo to have the translation, and uh, it can be very helpful. Uh, then this book. And if you are using ZBrush Core, again, <laughs> a Japanese book, uh, this one, it's not really for beginners, but in fact, it explains ZBrush Core, but after you have a part about uh, creating figurines uh, as well. It's not as good as Sakaki-san, but uh, that's an alternative. And I would love to, uh, to I would love to have these books in uh, in English. Uh, to be honest, it's uh, it's these are very good tools. Sorry, just a few seconds. Each time I'm I'm switching off cameras, I, I'm trying to uh, to remind that oh I need to switch it back to uh, I should stop using this uh, large size. Uh, camera because uh, yes I don't see the chat and uh, ah shit <laughs> I'm sorry then uh, yes uh, I just um, build uh, let me go back in history um, you see I just build uh, this front part I think to, to, to build the breast of course I don't want to have very accurate shape but uh, Again, trying to refine uh, the shape. Now, in the back, this is what you missed. Then I put, like I said, a lot of landmarks. See, like this, trying to build the volume uh, for the legs, having something uh, with more shapes. You see, and uh, at this stage, it's a clay polish, uh, clay build up, and. When I'm doing these landmarks, I'm using the damp star brush, like that. And now the front part. I'm sorry again. <laughs> I'm sorry because it's not the first time. I think uh, each two streams at least I'm doing this kind of uh, of mistake.
be more rounded. Sorry, I'm thinking at the same time of of the design. Not only building the body, but uh, trying to look at the at the shape. Because I want, I really like to do uh, large, uh, large hips. Sorry, this, these arms are annoying. Uh, oops, select lasso. Okay, <laughs> better like this. And yes, we have the technology to go back in time. Thank you, the story. <laughs> As you can see, I, I don't like uh, using a lot my sculpting brushes when I'm I am at this stage. I'm using a lot the move brush uh, with all these small touches of tick 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 like that. Uh, yeah, I prefer. And when I have more polygons, of course, I'm switching to um, my um, regular uh, brushes. Sometimes I still prefer using my regular brushes. And going back to my move brush. You see I'm turning all around my model just to have 
uh, always a different point of view and see the curvature of it Uh, Bunko, I'm making uh, right now, of course, a body, a female body, um, but I will, build a, I will build a ninja character in a f slightly in a Japanese uh, anime style, but again, slightly. Um, And I'm really at the beginning of the project and uh, it will be refined over the time. And since she's a ninja, she will have strong legs. Uh, let's do very quickly this fit something like I don't really like doing but well I have to <laughs> Again, I'm doing everything really quickly. at one stage if you really want to refine again it's better to go through uh, a topology I mean a low topology
And you see when I'm sculpting, sometimes you see I'm sculpting on this location, but my eyes are looking on the other side, on the symmetry side. Like that, I can see in, in another way uh, the angle and the curvature of what I'm trying to do. Of course, not always, but uh, I'm trying to keep an eyes on, uh, on both sides. And uh, again, uh, I'm not working with a very, very high resolution for my model. You don't need to have thousands and thousands of polygons uh, at this stage, of course. But I know that quickly I will uh, need them anyway. And I'm not focusing only on one area for a long time. I'm always switching to uh, others area and I'm refining. But now we'll just increase slightly the resolution. I think I will go to 128, which is a bit bigger, but I will have, now I will be able to use more my scooting brush to refine my shape and not anymore as uh, a move brush like I did before. Sorry, there's something in my eye. Shit. save. Uh, speaking of saving, I should save my progression. Speaking of, it's quite, it's, oof, ah, no. Uh, let me do like I did before. So tool, duplicate, because I don't like the shape it needs that to have. Uh, the remesher, let me switch to 10,000. And the remesh. Uh, 10,000 was too much. Uh, let's go back to five. I really love zero measure for that. Okay, perfect. I have enough polygons. Um, let me fix something. Uh, let me use my zero measure brush. No. Come on. Guide. Just want to have this one and like this, like this. Sorry, I'm just building some. Uh, some lines for the 
for zero measure to follow. Everything else should be okay. And curve strength a little bit more. Let's see. Okay, then I have my lines, my lines, yes. And not that much. Let me divide and like before I will reproject my details on this one, project, okay done. This now I have less polygons. have quite uh, a large body but perhaps not that much Sorry, I, I'm just trying to focus on what I'm doing and sorry for being silent. Then please uh, listen to your own music in the background. <laughs> Try to refine. Let me switch off material. Yeah, this one has more contrast. Damn standard brush. I know uh, I, I like large tight, but uh, I think it's a little bit too much.
and uh, two dino I'm using a pen a pen tablet not a mouse I mean there is no I mean yes you can sculpt with uh, a, a mouse but to kind of uh, yeah being a sadomasochist I guess At what time is it? Okay, I will end the stream soon. At least I'm happy to have, I mean, being able to go this far for today. I did more than I was expecting but I still have quite some progress to do on my model And just as a reminder, the idea is to build a figurine, then it will be for 3D printing. to consider later all these constraints about 3D printing. Uh, if you want to, uh, let me check that. Um, if you want to look at my previous ZBrush Live project figurine, let me put the link in the chat. Of course, it's not the same progress, but um, I mean the same project. Sorry, not progress, but this is uh, I mean, stuff I did uh, in the past in live during the brush live, like it is today. Then this is the idea to redo something similar. Do the hands separately, of course, but uh, 
let me just do a kind of rough shape at least it will help me understanding better my shape Because next Sunday, for the next stream I will do, of course I will continue to work on the model itself, but I will build the hands, and when I will build the hands, I will um, I will use these spheres to do a rig, uh, to be able to, uh, uh, to ring these hands, and being able, of course, to do a pose. But more important, because I told you I will use the hairs of the character to do some fist or actions and things like that uh, hands would be important then it would be easier to do one hand once being able to quickly change the shape and then re-sculpting refining to to, uh, to to have the final pose perfectly but at least the foundation will be done once and being able to reuse it multiple times uh, for the project um Um, Avibelic 9.11, uh, yes, you can find uh, tutorials free, uh, I'm not sure about uh, anime stuff, um, character modeling, uh, not that much, the problem is you can find some Japanese one, but in Japanese, and if you want to have good one, in fact, they are Japanese, uh, I'm sorry, but non, let's say, Asian people doing anime and manga style, very few of them are able to, to do something which is uh, uh, really Japanese quality, let's say. Uh, that's why for this project, I don't want to go, uh, let's say, really anime style. And my to be was one of the first characters which was, let's say, more anime than uh, the one. But even for that, uh, not everything is perfect. Um, you can look at this. Um, I don't know where to, you know this book that I mentioned uh, earlier in the stream. Uh, if you look at the editor on YouTube, which is uh, MD, uh, what is the editor? MDN, uh, like that. MDN. Uh, let me look on YouTube. I think you can find um, the uh, playlist of Sakaki-san. In fact, Sakaki-san, for this book, uh, did uh, recorded everything for the building, uh, the the creation of this character in front of the cover, and uh, you can watch everything. There is no audio, but uh, enough to um, uh, to follow interesting thing. Let me just Google. Yeah, I found it. Okay, let me. Yeah, and uh, Leslie zero six also on Twitch. Um, showing is someone on Twitch who, who is streaming a lot of anime stuff, which is very, very good quality uh, with the brush. But yes, I don't know if he's streaming everything. Watch it time to times, and someone who, who is interesting to follow. Um, okay, let me bring back the head. Uh, let me copy this tool. Going back to my head weird head but i don't care this stage uh, because i will refine the body of i think i will remove these hairs they are really ugly uh, like this and i will paste paste past i don't know how to say that in english uh, like this then move uh, Something like that. Let me smooth the head. 
just to make it less visible like that I always have a very hard time finding the good proportion when I'm doing the head and the body in a separate shape. And because my body is not uh, at the good scale and need to, to have some refinement, I know that uh, I will need to change all of that. Right now the head is too small. Yeah, now, uh, yeah. The problem is without the hairs, sometimes also it's very hard to, to find. And the neck is not rounded enough. And, uh, Okay. Ah, shit. Sorry, I'm looking at the size. Come on, transpose. Sometime I'm. Okay, let me just reset transpose. Um, transpose, transpose, transpose units. Where are you? Calibration distance. Um, one. Okay, now. We have 8.2. And my body need to be scaled a little bit more. Okay, I think I'll go like this. Okay. I want to go to eight, sorry. Well, oh, yeah, I'm at eight, in fact. Okay, then what I will do is for this body, I will increase the resolution like that. Um, what I will do, I will duplicate both of the head and no, 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 cancel. Uh, duplicate going down and this one how many subdivision levels does it have geometry four and this one three let me just divide now I'll go in sub tool i will merge and down merge 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 use a merge 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 down okay now i have just one body like that. Okay. Then I will duplicate again. I have the original one. I will do a dynamesh to be sure I will merge everything on this area. But for this dynamesh, I will use a high resolution dynamesh. But bef before doing that, let me just check with 128. No, don't want to freeze. 
Mm, not enough. Come on. Okay. It's fine enough for me. Okay, then I merge both parts. Of course, the hands, etc., are not done, but uh, for now it's not a big deal. And what I will do, yes, I need to refine the neck, which is too, too large. And uh, even now, the distance, yes, it should be more on this curve, should be more like this. Anyway, uh, to no, sorry, geometry, let me go in zero measure. I will go to 10 this time. Come on. Yeah, because what I did, I did in geometry, and I press the Alt key when I press for the remesher. And when you do Alt and click on the button, it will just load the uh, palette uh, somewhere. Then that's why I have this problem. You need to do that when it's docked. You see the neck is quite large. And the remesher will be a little bit long because I have 4.6 million of polygons, but I'll wait. If you have some questions in the chat, just let me know. Oh, some critics and comments, of course. And I need to save just after. <laughs> Okay, ah, I don't like the topology on the face, not at all. Okay, then I will do Control Z, and like before, I will use my Z Remesher Guide brush, and I will do some guide like this. This that and I don't want to have something which is uh, very nice as a topology because um, uh, I will uh, rework all of that. It's mainly to change the proportions. Then if I don't have a nice edge loop around the face, it should be okay. The problem is if you try to do something which is like that, I'm pretty sure I won't have a nice edge loop all around. I can try, but I'm pretty sure it will be problematic. Let's see. Oh, what I'm trying to avoid is when it's connected like that. Let's try again, increasing the curve strength. And yes, I'm pressing the Alt key when I'm doing my Z remesher. It's by doing that it will use a second algorithm to pro to 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 compute uh, the symmetry. In fact. Um, if you are don't, not if you are not pressing this Alt key, um, ZBrush will just cut the model in uh, cut the model uh, the model in half if the symmetry is enabled, of course, and will Z remesh only half of the model. And when the retopology is done, it will just do a mirror and weld and to build the full model. Um, but uh, by pressing the Alt key, you will force the brush to send the whole model to the remesher. And the remesher will really doing the full model analysis for the symmetry. And that's why sometimes you have better flow uh, on the symmetry axis. Okay, then for the face, it's, you see, I have my edge loop, but, well, it's not that good. But I will deal with it for now. For everything else, I have, oops, I don't like this kind of big lozenge shape. Anyway, I'll deal with that for now. 
and I will do my reprojection and I will need to wait a little bit it may be long for that one because I'm projecting three millions on I mean uh, four mil oh no I don't have that many polygons I thought it was more okay then I can deal with that Okay, then I have 8,000 and this one. Um, why my numbers of levels isn't going down? Okay, delete higher. And this one and doing like before project all. And wait. Um, Jack the Avenger, your question is when does a PC get in trouble with too many polygons? I heard they had reduced the efficiency, uh, efficiency size, I don't know, to, sorry, uh, efficiency of uh, Intel cores and uh, uh, it depends of your CPU. I know that mine is quite recent and I'm not really affected by the performances. I did the update in fact. Uh, already of uh, um, fire, uh, firmware for the um, for the CPU and uh, for my BIOS and Windows and I'm up to date for me. I don't really see the, really see the impact, but my Macintosh, which is quite old, uh, which is uh, mid um, two thousand and twelve and quite old now, I'm pretty sure we'll have very poor uh, performances but in terms of the brush it's not only the cpu this is the memory uh, on my computer i have now because i need to replace some ram <laughs> i just have 16 right now and not 32 but i can i can work pretty well with quite some polygons and uh, uh, you see i have still 8 gigabytes of free memory on my computer then it's it's quite enough for what i need to do it's really up to your computer and um, I mean it's a lot of factors which um, uh, will be uh, taken in consideration. Uh, my advice is uh, um, if you want to have a good computer, you don't need to spend uh, uh, $3,000 to, to have a good computer. Mine is expensive because I spend quite some money in the silence. I want to have a noiseless as much as possible computer. Then it increases the price, but ex and I have a strong video card because I'm doing uh, scan data and I want to process. I need to have access to the GPU. Uh, but except that, the brush just need to have a, a good CPU, and I have an Intel i7 um, uh, 7700K, um, which is not overclocked. I just have 16 gigabyte of RAM, but I have a good memory. Why? Because a lot of people are buying a good CPU. Uh, it's a good motherboard, well, uh, eventually a good video card and uh, uh, SSD drive, but they are looking for a cheap memory. And the problem is the price of cheap memories. Um, if you go cheaper and cheaper, you will have slow memory. And it's stupid to have a very good CPUs and fast disk access, but the communication between the memory and CPU is not as efficient as it should be. Then it's very important to find the good balance. It's better if you are buying a, 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 a low quality memory because of the price, which is of course perfect, perfectly understandable. Uh, it's useless to buy a, a high-end i7 uh, CPU. Uh, it's better perhaps to go to i5 and anything like that. Then it's a lot of factors need to be uh, taken in consideration. Uh, okay, then now my model is uh, merged. I'm just looking at the projection. Then you see, I, I will need to change all of that. You see, this part is too low. Then what I will do is, I know that I will refine my shape again and again and again uh, for the proportion until uh, not the end, but uh, uh, quite some time.
because I know I'm not always very good with that. And I think, yeah, it's better like this. Where is my gizmo? And by doing that, it will make my breast curve even nicer. You see less polygons again means more control. <laughs> Yeah, if you have an i5 on a laptop with 6 GB of memory, then at 60 million of points, which is already very good for your your your, uh, your specification, um, it's uh, it's obvious that it will be uh, you will feel limited and having this slowdown. Uh, first, because the i5 it depends, of course, of the the model by itself of i5 from Intel. Um, i5 are not as efficient in terms of computation than the i7. Of course, the i7 may have more cores, have the hyper-threading, not some i5. And uh, again, 6 GB of memory. For the brush, I will advise 16 GB, then 10 extra more GB. Why? And I think this is weird that you have 6 GB to be 4 or 8 if you have 6, then perhaps your, I don't know, something is wrong for me. Um, the problem is that um, uh, what I wanted to say, I forgot. Ah, damn. Um, uh, yes, with the RAM 6 GB, just think about how many GB Windows will use. It depends, of course, of your, your computers and CPUs and, 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 and Windows, etc. But uh, at least Windows is using 2 GB at the minimum. Uh, and then if you have in the background Skype or your, your, your browser and multiple tabs and uh, virus protection and all this kind of, of stuff all around, then it's less and less memory. Then uh, at least if you want to be comfortable, you need to have at least 8 gigabyte just for the brush. And that's why 16 is better from my point of view. Of course, in a, a laptop, it's not always easy to uh, uh, to have a specific amount of RAM. I have 16 in my Mac and uh, it's it's fine enough for almost everything. Yeah, my, my head is too, it's too large. I need to have that. I mean, it's a width, it's too, too much. Um, Need to go more something like this. Then I need to refine the eyes again. Okay, I'll try to finish with all of that.
Oops. But just to go back to the discussion of computers and things like that, of course, it really depends if you are a beast or are professional, but don't forget that if you are professional, whatever your work, that uh, your computer is your, 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 um, um, your tool and uh, it will have an impact on your productivity. Then don't forget that sometimes it's better to spend a little bit more on your computer and be sure that you'll be more productive than trying to be uh, uh, avoiding spending some extra money in uh, in some component. It's the same you see for people who are doing graphic stuff. And of course, with ZBrush, we are exactly in, in this category. Um, I'd I don't have any kind of of uh, of shares <laughs> at Wacom, but uh, um, you see, I have a Cintiq right now, which is not a brand new one. This is a 22 HD, which is quite old now. Uh, but I mean, for me, it's have, uh, it has a huge impact on my productivity. Um, I'm faster. I'm really focusing on my model itself. Uh, I'm inside, in fact, of my model. And that's why you see it sometimes I'm in the zone. I, I don't see what happened in the chat because I'm really inside of my model. And um, it will have a very positive impact on what you're doing. Of course, some artists prefer not having the hands uh, in front of the image, then uh, not like the paper, but being uh, having a regular tablet because they just have the full screen, which is also a good reason. But uh, for me, I really love, I really love this um, this hardware. Uh, it really has very, very good impact on what I'm doing, especially with ZBrush. reduce a little bit the breast size because they are in fact bigger than what I wanted to do You see, I switch to the perspective to have a better uh, perception of my model. And you see so far nothing, let's say, complicated in terms of uh, uh, brush used. Uh, I, I did some quite complex steps when I, I did my reprojection and the remeasure. Uh, which is not as easy, but uh, you see in terms of brushes, it has been mainly my move brush, uh, down soda brush, clay build up, uh, 
trinamic a little bit, but uh, you see it's uh, not that complex. Of course, after it's a matter of sculpting and uh, and understanding the model, of course, but uh, just to, to, to learning the software, I mean, I didn't use a lot of very complex things. Again, except the projection, which is, I think for me, the most complicated part of what I did uh, so far. Okay, I need to reduce the, the eyes. Because I changed the shape of the model. Come on. Oh, first, let me save. Um, Yes, most of the, now the, I mean, ZBrush is very optimized. Uh, we are spending a lot of time on the optimization. Uh, also, we, we, this is a choice that for multiple reasons, but also since we are not using video cards, it means that it can run on almost all computers. As soon as you have a little bit of RAM and let's say a recent CPU, uh, I mean, but any uh, type of i5, i3, i7, even the third generation will working fine with ZBrush. But yes, now, I mean, uh, all computers are able to run most of free applications. You just need eventually to buy a good video card, but any kind of gaming video card, uh, like a 1050, uh, will be fine enough. I have something bigger, but uh, I have a 1080 uh, Ti uh, on my computer. But for ZBrush, I don't use it. And, uh, uh, okay, bye, Mark. Uh, Yes, you have, I mean, the uh, Huion Pen Tablet, the 22, etc. I mean, now you have alternative to, to Wacom. I prefer Wacom because it's more sturdy. It's, uh, the driver is uh, uh, more supported by most applications. And so far, I had no issue at all. And I have a, a Mobile Studio Pro uh, 16 with a new screen and pen and oh my god <laughs> it's so much better i would love to have the same as my 22 but with the screen of the, uh, the, the 16 in terms of quality you have no lag and the screen is really really close to the tip then uh, it's so much better and you don't see the pixel this is a wide uh, this is a 4k screen and it's uh, so good but i prefer working on my computer <laughs> um No, I don't have an exact sketch. In fact, I have no sketch. I'm just sculpting like that. And anyway, for now, uh, I really want. I really need to work on um, uh, the body by itself, and uh, I will work uh, later more on the design of the character. Um, I have some stuff in mind. I really started quickly to do some researches on, on Pinterest, but again, I, I was really lacking of time uh, before starting this stream. Then, uh, sorry, uh, it will be better next Sunday. way than what I'm doing right now, which is not a good way to do that. Yeah. 
-huh. It's quite cubic. Take care of the specula when you are sculpting because sometimes it's not easy to, to work on that. Anyway, uh, breast will change of shape when I will do the cloth, cloth is of the model. Try to reshape that. Well, what I will do is let me just lower that because what I will need to consider when I will start to do this um, uh, more the design uh, itself of the character, uh, I will need to. Um, to think about where I will uh, do the uh, the cut for the three D printing, which is quite important. And you see, all these edges right now are not very nice uh, because the topology is, you see. Oops, not a line. Oops, sorry. Let me put transparency. You see, I don't have a nice edge loop around the eyes, which is a little bit of a problem, but I know that at one stage I will add at least one level of subdivision for my model because I will need to sculpt parts like the hands with the, the, the nails and, and things like that, which will take some time. But I need to have fine details. Oh, not like this curve. Rounded the way it should be rounded. I don't know why I'm spending so much time on this area. <laughs> Same here, my topology is not the best at all. Then that's why it's kind of flattened. And 
this is where you need some time to go really uh, close in terms of polygons so problem is the closer you will go the, the higher you will have problem with let's say projections come on where are you And it's very important to be very, very careful with, with that. I don't need to focus on this part because uh, I think uh, the cloths won't um, will be uh, uh, hiding all this part, and it's not a big deal. Okay, anyway, uh, I'll stop here for today. Um, it's still not done yet, uh, of course. See, I need to refine some shapes like that. Sorry, I'm, s <laughs> I'm saying I'm not done yet, but <laughs> I, I can't stay without fixing this kind of ugly shapes. Sorry, I didn't look at the chat in the last minute. Okay, like I said, i stop here. Perhaps I will make the mouth a little bit wider, a little bit too small, I think now. Refine the ears, I don't know, but... Uh, I need to refine uh, all of that, like um, armpit needs to be refined as well, which is weird shape. But uh, so far, I'll stop here. Um, Tighty Bob, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, the precision of pressure input is needed for sculpting, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's impossible to work with a, a mouse if you want to do, a, let's say, accurate things and uh, and, and thing like that. Uh, oh, so yes, <laughs> from the back. Um, Anyway, yeah, it was something like three hours uh, to build. Uh, I don't know how much time I spent on the color and lightsaber at the beginning of this stream, but uh, yes, I worked something like three hours um, on this model. Uh, two hours and a half. Then you see, of course, it's not done yet. I still have quite some work to do. Uh, before the next stream, probably I will just refine a little bit more the shapes because I don't want to spend too much time on that. Uh, next stream, I need to, to work on the hands uh, fit to finish the body and then starting to build the clothes and um, and and all the stuff all around before, I of course, after working on the pose. And uh, at one stage, I will do some um, clothes directly on pose and not using anymore a T pose. I mean, 
a neutral pose like it is right now. Um, anyway, thank you very much for being with me, uh, to have spent this time with me uh, on this um, new series of video for ZBrush for figurines. Uh, I don't know how far I will go, what will be the final design, I still need to be, uh, I mean, I really need to think about that because I need first to be sure that my body will be uh, at least uh, uh, okay because I have some kind of weird shapes. Uh, everywhere but uh, it takes time to refine uh, but it's not always the most interesting part it's more to build things after it's more to up to you about the styles and design and and thing like that anyway thank you very much and see you next week bye bye